Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another Weather 101 forecast. We are having a fantastic start to your Monday morning to the work week. I hope you guys are all doing amazing. I hope you guys are all staying safe out there today. Now, this forecast is a little bit earlier in the morning than I have been doing, and there's a one big reason for that because a lot of this is going to start by around the noon time frame. I mean, I'll get into that in this forecast. But for the topic, once again, we're talking about a big snowstorm. It's not necessarily as strong as a snowstorm as what we saw um, a couple days ago. However, it still is going to cause some winter weather impacts, uh, some travel impacts, and we, we need to discuss it, obviously. Starting off here, I am recording this very early, um, and it's going to take me a little bit to get the thumbnail uh, and everything. So this might change by the time that you guys are seeing this, but as of right now, we have two areas, really bigger areas of winter weather advisories, one being for areas of central and eastern Kansas, northern Missouri, western Illinois, southern Iowa. We also have an area of Arkansas, Oklahoma, Tennessee, and Kentucky in, in, into, into the extreme southeastern boot heel of Missouri. Um, sorry, I forgot how to talk there for a second. These areas are under winter weather advisories right now, and that's, once again, that's indicated by your purple. This is, once again, for minor winter weather impacts. Um, as well as some minor snow and ice accumulation um, in those areas. We also do have some winter storm watches in effect for areas of the coastal northeast. This is a big area we have to watch for over the next day or so. Um, what this means is, is they're monitoring the conditions to see if they will meet winter storm criteria, which if you don't know, it goes winter weather advisories and then a one up from that is a winter storm warning. So it's a more significant area of winter weather and we're looking at major snow accumulations major impacts to roadways so that's the big area that we need to keep an eye out on over the next 20 i'd even say the next six hours i was going to say 24 hours but really the next six hours we really need to keep an eye out on that area over there now we also have some winter winter weather advisories scattered off into the rockies i really can't talk today um and that's going to be for the beginning of this system which we'll look at on the model run um, and then we do have some freeze watches in effect for areas of California as well as Arizona. Um, and then some scattered high wind watches and advisories throughout Wyoming and California. Now going into the first thing that I want to talk about is the winter, or winter storm severity index. This is the day one through three. And essentially what this does is it kind of rates in a way uh, the overall impacts from winter weather for these areas. So where you're seeing these blues um, yeah, that's limited travel impacts. That's where you probably won't see a winter weather advisory, but you could see maybe, you know, a half an inch of snow accumulation on some of these roadways and it could make things a little tricky. Uh, but overall it really shouldn't shut down any roads or whatnot. As you go into these minor snowfall accumulate or minor, uh, travel impacts, it's going to be outlined in your yellow. Still not nothing crazy. You might see an inch or two, maybe one to three inches of snowfall in these areas, but roads should stay pretty clear and it really shouldn't be too heavy of snow and then as we get into the moderate impacts that's where you're going to have that's where you're going to start to see some road closures um, over time and, and some more significant snowfall accumulation and a lot of that is throughout the northeast we also see some areas of the great lakes under that we also do have some isolated areas of the great lakes and major impacts we also do see some uh, moderate impacts in effect for areas of central arkansas where we're going to be seeing some more ice um, and that's really going to cause some some tricky travel, I'll tell you that. Um, and so once again, if you guys are within any of these areas, whether we just talked about the limited risk, which is the blue, minor, which is the yellow, orange, which is the moderate, red, which is major, please stay weather aware. And I know that you might get thrown off guard some of these areas in the limited risk. I think you could maybe see uh, some tricky travel, and you really got to be paying attention here. Don't let your guard down just because you're not going to be seeing these high totals um, for snowfall. Now, the next thing that I want to talk about is the timings for the storms today. Um, we're going to roll this back here, um, and we're going to go to around 6 a.m. when we're recording this. Time and day is in the upper right or upper left-hand corner. You can follow along as we go through this. So around this time this morning, we're seeing some snow breaking out across areas of central Kansas. We also are seeing some scattered mix, mixing, whether that be rain, snow, sleet, freezing rain across areas of northeastern Oklahoma, really we're not expecting anything in terms of accumulation up here. We might see for like areas close to Miami, Oklahoma, uh, in the extreme northeastern area, we might see some isolated travel impacts being a little light glaze of ice or some light snow flurries that might accumulate on roadways. But really, Kansas is going to be the big area to watch here. And throughout the morning hours, especially during the commute, it's going to be cold enough for this to stick on the roadways. 
we're going to see, uh, once again, it's not going to be anything crazy, but we could see maybe a, a quick inch of snowfall potentially for some of those areas. We see by around 9 to 10 a.m., we start to see some scattered snow flurries across the Ozarks. We're seeing some sleet starting to mix in through the central Arkansas area. Heavier snow up into areas of St. Joseph, Kansas City, uh, Lawrence. I know the University of Kansas, if you have any family members, friends, relatives there. The University of Mizzou will get impacted by this later in the day up in Columbia by around 1 p.m., uh, even closer to that noon time frame. Um, and then what you'll start to see here is a quick band of snow that's developing on the southwestern end. And this is what's going to cause maybe a quick inch of snowfall for some of these areas right here. And now you really have to monitor this because if we do see this, and it has been sort of trending this way, we start to see a little more snow farther down here. This could cause an extra inch of snow for areas that are not even in winter weather advisories. And so that's why I mentioned earlier, um, even if you're in that limited risk, you really have to keep an eye out on this. I really don't think much is going to happen there, but... We just got to keep an eye out on that throughout the day today. And if you guys aren't already, follow my Facebook. It is Weather 101 on Facebook. I'll be posting more and more updates throughout the day on there, um, kind of looking at live updates. So make sure you guys are followed there. Um, once again, that's a way to get extra information on these storms. Um, and it's a way that you guys can ask more questions on Facebook, and I can give you guys answers for your locations. So we really start to see, though, by the 8 p.m. time frame, a lot of this starts to shift into the Ohio Valley. Now we'll go ahead and switch the view here. Um, and this is 6 p.m. So we went back two hours, but this is by around dinner time. Once again, we have that snow extending into the Ozarks. We have some heavy mo or moderate snow showers across areas of Illinois through Indiana, heavy snow in those lake effect areas in Michigan. This is by around 10 p.m. tonight. Um, and then by around midnight tomorrow morning, we still start, we're still seeing some heavy snow, moderate snow across areas of Indiana through Ohio some mixing as you get into northern Kentucky, and then it should switch over to all snow towards the end of this. Um, and then we really start to see a heavy snowstorm for areas of the northeast. Um, and once again, this is where we're seeing those winter storm watches. You really got to keep an eye out on this. I know I had a comment about Connecticut in my last forecast. It looks like northwestern Connecticut, um, right by Torrington and north, uh, northwestward of Torrington. If you are in those areas... I think you could stay mostly snow out of this, but overall it's going to be pretty rainy for the uh, extra two-thirds of Connecticut, um, especially the more coastal areas of Connecticut. It's going to stay all rain for those areas. Um, and now, in terms of totals for this, once again, it's not anything crazy. It's nothing to write home about, but we're still seeing some you know, totals that will cause some road impacts. We're seeing one to three inches of snowfall throughout these areas right here. I um, mean, once again, I think a lot of this, especially in Kansas, will fall in the morning. So you really got to be thinking about that as your kids are driving to school, if you have any high schoolers, or if you're even bringing your own kids to preschool, elementary, intermediate school, junior high, whatnot. You got to keep that in the back of your mind. Also, obviously, traveling for work in the morning, that commute could get a little dicey at times for tomorrow morning, or sorry, for this morning. And then as we get into tomorrow morning, uh, the commute could get pretty dicey for some of these areas into the Ohio Valley and Northeast, um, where we're seeing maybe upwards of five to seven to eight, nine inches of snowfall potentially, especially as you get into Vermont, New Hampshire. Those amounts really start to ramp up where you start to see those purples at six to 10 inches of snowfall, isolated amounts of over a foot potentially. Um, and so once again, you really, really have to stay weather aware there. Now, the next run that I want to look at here is the... Uh, Short range ensemble forecast, and this is the probability for over an inch of snowfall. Once again, this really gets concentrated into northern Kansas, northern Missouri, southern Iowa, northern uh, Illinois, getting into Indiana, Ohio, uh, Pennsylvania through New York. It looks like a 100% chance here. We start to see some amounts, some higher percentages than what we saw yesterday in Kentucky, but really I think it should be a pretty light event there. Um, and then really, once again, this is really a – Ohio Valley through Northeast based system where we're going to be seeing the heaviest snowfall from this. I mean, you can see that right here. Now the next thing and the last thing I guess I should say is that I want to talk about is the national weather service blend of models. This is another total snowfall accumulation. So you can kind of compare what the HRRR says with what this says and you get a good average. Now the national weather service blend of models takes a lot of different models into account, makes an average. It's very accurate. I like to use this because it is a little bit more conservative on the snowfall totals, and so it doesn't really blow anything up like the GFS or the Euro will sometimes. But what we see here, central northern Kansas, once again, through that morning 
hours this morning, you could be seeing anywhere from two to three, four inches of snowfall potentially as you get closer to Kansas City. We could be seeing closer to that two to four inch range. Northern Missouri, two to four. Western Illinois, maybe two to four as well. Maybe isolated amounts of six, seven inches of snowfall. Lake effect in Michigan will be pretty gnarly. We're going to be seeing upwards of potentially uh, six to 10 inches of snowfall, maybe isolated areas of over a foot of snow for very isolated lake effect bands here. Lake effect for Erie, um, just south of Buffalo, we could be looking at six to 10 inches of snowfall and then getting into the northeast. A good band of six to 10 inches of snow will set up across these purple regions uh, or pink, I guess I should say. So please make sure that you guys are staying weather aware today. If you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns about your location, let me know down in the comment section down below. I'll do my best to answer them. Once again, follow my Facebook for more updates. Potentially a live forecast uh, right around noon today. I don't know if I'll have time, but I'm going to try to do it just so we can kind of update everyone on what to expect. So keep an eye out on that just in case that happens. Thank you guys so much for watching this Weather 101 forecast, and I'll see you guys in the next one.